Good afternoon, church. Welcome to our evening service. And as we start, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you, God, for the chance, Lord, nga makumati si Muna Pulong. Allow us, oh God, to be in your presence. For this night, ikaw, Lord, mag-aaring dila sa mun, si Muna Heart, si Muna Word, Lord. Ikaw, mag-protect sa mun, Father, from the lies of the enemy. Ikaw, Lord, mag-protect sa mun, sang strength, as we, as we listen, Lord, and as we obey you, Father. Lord, forgive us of our sins, and goodbye, for that you will be honored and praised for what we for what we will do, O oh God, for what we will receive, as in the name of God, in the name of the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
sa amin karapat dapat ka sa papulit pagsama sa piling mo gawin iisa maging puso kaluluwa Bug! 
bangsa sambahi Nang oras ko at panahon Dahil ikaw ang nagbigay Blessed is the one whom God corrects, so that despise discipline of the Almighty. For he wounds, but he also binds up. He injures, but he, his hands also heal. So let's pray. God, thank you. Get some mga words. Some words ni nga be Lord. Ikaw maga um, cover Lord God, maga protect Lord. Sa kamon Lord niya heart. Sa pagpamati si mo na pulo, ikaw Lord maga. Um, bulig, Lord, someone um, using these verses, Lord, nga makilala gin sa iyo mo, Lord, makabati gin, Lord, sa iyo mga gusto ipalabot sa mo, and kabay pa, Lord, that we will not just be listeners but doers of your word. Thank you for the encouragement, oh God, thank you for the life that you've given us, and kabay pa din as long as we live, Lord, ikaw ang mga gino. So, say, we pray with the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, um, that scripture text that you're going to meditate for this night is found in the book of Job. And all of us you know, have a background of what Job have undergone sa iyang life. So he was a blessed person, prosperous na person, namuda mo siya mga property, namuda mo siya sa mga um, kasapatan siya na, na land. And for one instance, na nagkanto si, si, si Jesus or si Titan kay God, and ginabal ni God kay Satan. Nga ano daw wala si Job. Gabi siya ka Gabi siya ka ng faithful sa kon and Gabi ang hindi ang integrity. And even whatever happens, no, ginapili ya ko nga tagaan sang time, tagaan sang devotion, effort at pagpalangga ya. Tapos sa gamba din si Satan siya nga base gina worship ya lang ka because he can get something out of it. So Diya pala ganun mapapasyon kita. Kita ya, as person, as human beings, do we worship God only if we can get something from Him? But what if, what if, ang natabok kay Job, parayos man sa ito? 
um, kinkuhaan siya family, kinkuhaan siya property, kinkuhaan siya sa sa mga sa kung anong miyara siya, no? even ang iya nga own skin, yung puno sa pilas. And in that moment, no, na naging miserable si Job, but he never cursed God or denied God siya nga tayo. And there is one verse in that struck sa akin, so the humble, you know, blessed is the one whom God corrects, so that this point, the discipline of the Almighty. So some of us have undergone breaking um, discipline correction from the Lord. And it comes in different sizes, different circumstances in life. So um, it could be in a failure, in a failure, because a school, nang it could be in relationships, no? Na nagbreak mo sa partner mo, na hindi mo nilang nilang si mo. Uh, it could be in your family, it could be the death of your loved one. Those moments, ba lang nga ma-feel, magigigabi, hindi na broken na si mo na her. And sometimes, no, nang we tend to ask God, why me, Lord? Na, and probably for us, no, who lives like Job? Or who is full of integrity, no? Siyempre, mga question, kahit na innocent si Job, but still, nang mira siya, mga nagyan, yung mga punishment or discipline siya nga lang. And for, for some naman niya, nga gestambol, or minobra nga sa lucky Lord, may mga sins pa nga nang tasher siya na heart. Those discipline, those brokenness, is an act of discipline of the Lord. And I would like to read man ang verse Gara sa Hebrews chapter 12 verse 11 or chapter 8 to 11 and 9 get it. Moreover, we have had we have all had human fathers who disciplined us and we respect them for it. How much more should we submit to the Father of spirits and live? They disciplined us for a little while as they thought best. But God disciplines us for our good in order that we may share in His holiness. No discipline seemed pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have trained by it. So, the context of the verse, no, I'm um, talking about our fathers, earthly fathers, para mo lang po makita, tanga sa lang ginobra, tagina, ginabakol ta, or ginahambalan ta, or may mga butang na mga ginobra sa ito, like, hindi dapat, Paul, di na pagpagamit ko sa cellphone for pila ka minutes, pila ka hours. Nira man niya, what lang, ang atang niya allowance, buhilan, or whatsoever. So, ang bali ni God, no, if your earthly father um, is willing to discipline you, according kung ano ang best para siya, si God na malagay discipline niya sa, na in order that he may share in his holiness. So, ang goal ni Lord, why we are being disciplined, wala, is not to put us down, not to insult us, not to condemn us, but, but in order to purify us. Diyo tol, wala nga, ang brokenness, ang discipline ni Lord, ang uh, sakit, hindi ka ba ba siya guide mo through the breaking of God's hand, it is not for us to be condemned, but it is for us to share in His holiness. So sometimes, no, it takes pain to realize that something is wrong. So if you are in pain right now, no, we should grow from it, and not to flee from it. We should accept that we mga pain na kapapat siya gano. Because the more we deny the pain, the more we can never move on. Or move forward, or learn from it. So, um, kung kita nubok po, ang gita ya, sakit gina siya yan, diba? Sakit siya sa heart, ta, sakit siya sa mind, physical body, ta. And, sometimes, so the enemy would like to put us down, would like to say, no, mahopless ka na, wala ka namin mo, bro, ang mayroon sa life mo. Because of what you've done, kay God, nang tungod niya, amun na, nang marisi, amun na, or amun na, ano, amun na siyang napala. But, the verse, bala, ang aging share ni Job, si Lord, ginakorek, nagdi-discipline niya, ang mga tao, ginapalang gabi. So, is, if at this point of time, no, you are still seeking the Lord, despite of what is happening within you, and around you, despite of, of the breaking, despite despite sa mga natabok si mo nga hindi, hindi favorable si mga circumstances, God is promising us that He wounds but He also binds up. He injures but His hands also. There is a promise of God, no? 
nga be correct yun ta, be disciplined yun ta. And if the enemy is trying to pull you down, to put you down, nang ano lang nga sita. Remember David, no? Of how he um, have sinned kay Bathsheba because of adultery. Ang di pa tayo pa ang ang husband ni Bathsheba naglagay ang curse yung family. But then, at the end of the day, no? Nang David became sincere, became humble. Okay, God, he is willing to repent. And I have encountered so many stories in the Bible where I could find people who have been misled in their devotion to God. But the moment they humbled themselves, they repented, they are sorrowful, God gave them grace and this, this and give them the punishment less than they deserve. I could name a few King Ezekiah, no even same time nga grabe na siya ka or wala ang feeling wala ang abi ang success ni no Brian because of him but the moment no nga inabalan siya ni God because of what you've done na pride ang Israel and during those times no king repent ang pride siya na heart and nga balse Lord the punishment or the 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 punishment or the consequences of what you've done will not, will not happen in your time So it is hope for every one of us going through the season of breaking, season of discipline and correction, because the God never forget about us and hold on to the promise of God. Hindi na break kita no para maging huli ta, hindi para magremain ta nga broken. So even right now no, we are asking yourself, why am I being broken? Why am I? Suffering this circumstances in my life, I uh, know that the Lord wants to put you in fire, not to bring you, not to consume you, but to to um, burn down all the thoughts, all the um, impure spirits or impure motives or intentions you want to So everything will be put to test of fire, and what will last? No, is that uh, is all that matters. So, um, if you are going to discipline right now, call yourself blessed because pelanga ka ni God. Start in there. You no, know, don't treat it as a punishment or just a curse. Treat yourself that you are a blessed person because God wants you, wants to correct you. God wants to use you. God wants to purify and make you holy to make it bottom line pala how God cares for you. So you are blessed, and in in the point of breaking, in the point of hopelessness, always remember that He is the one who wounded you, but He also binds you. Siya man ang magabulig si mo na magrecover ka. Ay iba lang hindi yung type of person yung balak sa salak mo, tapos nagtaga ang punishment, di pa bayan ka nala. But si Lord no, even through the test of valley. He goes with you. He walks with you, and he is interceding for each and every one of us not to give up, but to stand firm, do everything in love, and and be restored. No, get the long, it's the long, it's the restoration for every one of us. He injures, but his hands also. So if you are afraid, no fear, Lord. If you are right now anxious and worrying. About if God could still love you, if God could still accept you, in spite of the things that cause him or that cause you to be disciplined, no, be assured. No, wala yung kagin na babayan even so. Be assured that in every in every temptation that we are suffering right now, God will provide the way. Be assured that the God who said, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Nang still the God we are serving, and it is Isaiah, but the Lord, no, He could um put streams in in the valley of dryness, bela. Kaya yung magupera bagong mo. So if ginakonsum kasi bang sang doubts mo, negativity si mo na mind, si mo na heart. Let the Lord shine His presence, His peace that transcends all understanding, His enlightenment. That indeed, indeed, lang ikaw isa, but you are. With God along the process, as long as you remain passive. So cheer up, be encouraged, and finish the race. So let's pray.
God and my Father, thank you for giving us a chance niya. Mga depensi mo na word, Lord, thank you for providing us the wisdom to know kung ano ang dapat na mong nabrahon. Forgive us for those times niya wala ka naman, Lord, kinpamatian, oh God, ginaglabot kayo sa point that it is necessary for us to be broken para ang batian ng iyong mga tingog sa mong nilay. Lord, um, as one teacher said, pain is the megaphone of yours. Habay pa rin, this pain will not lead us to discouragement, will not lead us to um, backsliding or drifting away from the truth. But let this pain reminds us that you are still greater than what we feel. You are the rock higher than our emotions. You are the rock higher than what we are going through right now. And Lord, even if we are um, in the storm right now, you are the God of the storms and you can calm the raging seas. Lord God, if there is someone listening this night, and we shall learn say the situation, he or she feels that he is being pulled down. Allow Lord your Holy Spirit, the same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead to talk, to speak, to embrace that person. Hindi siya Lord madalaan sa hope, knowing that darkness can never overcome the light. Thank you God, Jesus, if you pray with the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. So God, thank you Lord for the lives of everyone, Lord, ginagpamati, oh God, and for those Lord niya. Nag-spend some time, nag-invest some time similar. Allow us, O oh God, to um, live in the unexpected of your wings. Let your favor fall upon us. Let your grace be upon us, Lord. Ikabay pa that you will bless the family that we represent, O oh God. Kalawin mo na provide sa mga lead, si Kalawin mag-atag some strength, protection, Lord, sa mga nobra, sa mga gilis pila, Lord. Get the opportunity, Lord, na makapadayo niya po this pila. Get us wisdom to answer our tests our coming quizzes and activities, O God. And for those third niya families, third ka ba'y po the third love will be the center of every partnership of every homes. And may your name be lifted up and may you use us as a testimony of how good and great you are. So, see me pray with the power of Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless us all and see you next Sunday.